Okay. Good. All right. We're looking for organ donation. Those of you who would like to... <laughs> oh, hey, you have two kidneys. Yes. You have two ovaries. Uh, uh, well, I guess those are on the open market, too. <laughs> I, I knew transformers were expensive, but man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't... Actually, I don't have... Uh, that's clever and opening anymore. Well, all, all I can say is I'm Bob Adiansky. I worked on Transformers in the 1980s. Uh, and some people tell me that I am partially the reason why they're here today. Um, and um, I'm, in the, somebody I'm in the middle of doing a sketch, so if I'm distracted, you know, don't, you know, just go on without me, okay? So go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, dry humor is my favorite. Any yeah. other questions? Sure. Come on up. Do I have to come up? Oh, yes, please. All right. <laughs> um, the microphone's super sensitive, so you can use your gentle modulator voice. Okay. Hopefully I'm not killing Yeah, okay, I can whisper. When uh, they actually uh, assigned you to write the, the Bible for the Transformers, where'd you get all of the ideas from to, to pull all these different, different uh, character types that are so uh -huh. iconic for us? Who were you asking? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't tell you who I was uh, addressing. Well, let's go with uh, Mr. Budiansky first, and then we'll go to you as well. After. Okay, so, so just to be clear, I did not write the, the Bible for the Transformers originally. That was Jim Shooter, editor-in-chief yeah, yeah. of Marvel. But he did assign me to develop all the characters. Mm -hmm. So um, oh, uh, as many people probably here have heard me say already, um, over like a long weekend in late November of 1983, I developed the 26 initial characters. I named about 24 of them, I think, and um, and I turned it in Monday before, right before Thanksgiving in, in the U.S. And, um, and Jim Shooter liked it. Hasbro liked it. And as far as where I got the ideas from, I got the ideas from desperation because I had to do it over a weekend. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I'm just I I'd already been working at Marvel for um, a number of years. I was exposed to a lot of very creative people. Uh, I knew what went into making characters. You know, giving them a little twist here and there to make them interesting sounding. Um, I had a, a pretty good um, uh, knowledge of words. I was a big crossword puzzle junkie, so I was pretty literate in that, in, in coming up with ideas with juxtaposing this word and that word and coming up with an interesting combination and, and voila, Megatron or something like that. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, you know, just pull, pulling things out of the air, putting, pull, pulling things out of everything I was exposed to, you know, movies, TV, what was on the news that day. Uh, magazine, what I've read in magazines articles, I just have to f get it from wherever you can find it. A lot of characters I based on, um, uh, you know, archetypes from movies, you know, like if I, action hero or, you know, Clint Eastwood or Indiana Jones or, you know, whatever. And I, I may not have been so obvious in the way I, I, I then took those ideas and put it together for a Transformer biography, but that's where some of the inspiration came from, from just things I knew. Great. Bob just described the artistic process. This is what artists do. Stealing, yes. You sit in the you, yeah, you sit in the room. I hope there's enough ventilation to survive, and then you dig into your brain and your history and your past, and uh, you're maybe given an arrow that says this way, not that way. But what happens on the journey and whom you meet and how it turns out, that's all invented. Yeah. That, that's how it works. And for my part. I was given the Transformers, it was already being animated, and I, my job was to rewrite the first 60 episodes to try to provide more character to the characters, and also a sense of humor. So that's what I did, and Hasbro was pleased, and then they said, write a feature. We want to do an animated feature. That was my instruction. Hmm. So much like Bob that says, uh, uh, okay, this is your job, do it. How you do it? What means you use? I was lucky. I had these wonderful, wonderful images, these characters, and I had worked with them and changed them so that they had voices, but it was the same thing. It's a walk in the dark, and you're there with your pencil or your laptop, whatever it is, and you hope that what you do is as good as you think it is when you do it. Because I know I'm speaking for Bob. You don't do it if you don't think it's good and you don't quit doing it until you think it's right. So luckily, I guess it turned out great for both of us. <laughs> Thanks very much for the uh, answers, gentlemen. Welcome.